Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about how the Prince of Dubai spent $400 million. If you want to know that how the Prince of Dubai spent $400 million, then watch the video until the end, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Dubai's crown prince who goes by the name Faza is one of the richest royals in the world. With a personal net worth of $400 million however, the Dubai royal family is worth much much more than that an estimated $18 billion growing up. With that kind of wealth, it's no surprise the prince has some extravagant taste. He has everything from amphibious vehicles and his own fleet of luxury tanks to millions of dollars worth of exotic animals including the most expensive horse and camel inn. The entire world from yachts to exciting hobbies here's how the Royal Prince of Dubai spends his millions. Let's start with where he lives of course the prince who goes by the title Sheikh Camden bin Mohammed has plenty of options when it comes to luxury homes. The Dubai family owns plenty of expensive properties around the world. But these are the ones favorited by Fazar the first is the Royal Palace because how could anybody not love living in this place? The Zabil Palace is estimated to be worth as much as $500 million and officially belongs to the ruler of Dubai and Faza's father Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. These photos are from when the palace was lit up for an array of royal weddings. While the interior has been kept pretty private and visitors are allowed nowhere near the royal home these shots of another of Dubai's royal palaces give us an idea of just how opulent it is on the inside in fact. Most of Dubai's royal palaces are in the same area which is basically a large complex of several palaces where most royal family members love to get away from life in Dubai. The prince has a favorite spot in Vancouver, Canada. He owns a $55 million penthouse at the Fairmont Pacific Rim Hotel Nice. Hub originally Faza bought just one penthouse in the building for $25 million in 2017. But why buy one when you can have three? But then he quickly bought three sub-penthouse units just underneath it, bringing the total investment to $55 million. And reportedly, he paid in cash now. The luxury penthouse covers 15,000 square feet over the building's top three floors. It features all glass walls for amazing views of the Canadian city's downtown. A loft seating area, a spacious kitchen, an office, and multiple living rooms and lounges. The prince also has ties to another luxurious hotel. But he doesn't just own a penthouse in this one, he owns the whole thing. Zabil Investments is a private investment company owned by Faza that owns tons of properties across the United Arab Emirates, including the Hotel Jumeirah Zabil Surrey, located on the famous man-made luxury island of Palm Jumeirah. The Dubai Hotel costs $12 billion to construct and has its own indoor and outdoor pools access to private beaches for its guests and tons of luxury suites there are 405 rooms for guests plus 38 royal residences where the Dubai royals including Visa can enjoy a taste of the Zabil luxury meant just for them Faza has been called a bit of an animal. Whisperer reputation he earned because of all the exotic pets he owns his collection includes tigers elephants lions and plenty of distinguished peacocks but there's probably nothing more impressive than his camel, because it's the most expensive camel in the entire world. While searching for the world's greatest camel to add to his collection, you know just like the rest of us do all the time. The prince picked this one out of 17,000 candidates. He bought the camel for $2.7 million. And it's been a star on his Instagram account ever since finally an Instagram account worth following, while less expensive Fazos Falcons are also some of his favorite animals. The prince has individual falcons flown into the United Arab Emirates thanks to his falcon dealer Bryn Close, who provides the prince with falcons exclusively. While we aren't sure exactly how much Fazo spends per falcon, he's expected to own hundreds, and they can win the prince more than $100,000 anytime they win a race or competition. Does ESPN run falcon racing check that Prince Faza even has another animal that's expected to be the most expensive of its kind one of his prize show horses? reportedly cost the prince $1.8 million, and he's been spotted showing it off at competitions all over the world. The prince is believed to own more than 1,000 horses across the world, and he has at least 120 camels on his farm in Dubai, while the prince could choose to get around on the backs of camels, horses, and elephants. He usually opts for his multi-million dollar car collection, which includes multiple gold vehicles, these flashy golden cars include a gold Rolls-Royce Phantom, worth an estimated $8.2 million. He also has a golden Lamborghini Aventador worth $7.5 million of Porsche 918 Spider, 
with a price tag of $5.8 million and a Gold Range Rover Vogue, expected to be worth at least $3.2 million. He also has a Lamborghini Veneno Roadster worth $4.5 million. When the car was released in 2014 only nine were ever produced and he had the car gold-plated for an unspecified but probably extravagant amount of money. But the most expensive golden vehicle he owns is a Mercedes-AMG 63 worth an astonishing nine. 6 million. His other non-golden, how dare he luxury vehicles, aren't really any less impressive. He has an Aston Martin 107-7, worth 1.9 million that was once thought to be the most expensive car in the world. It gets his name, because there are only 7-7. to These cars in existence, his Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport is another unique addition to his collection. It's got a strange reptilian body can reach speeds of 250 miles per hour, and it costs the prince 1.7 million. He also has L. Ferrari worth 2.1 million and a sleek Ferrari F12 Berlinetta worth 1.5 million. Okay, enough about the cars. What about his fleet of tanks? Prince Bazaar owns an extraordinary collection of luxury tanks. Is that a thing? Yeah, beloved by the rich, they can plow over any terrain. From sand and mud to snow, and they're also military grade and nearly indestructible. The prince has been spotted using them for joy rides in the deserts of Dubai. These ripsaw tanks cost 495,000 for a single seat model, 545,000 for two seats, and 595,000 for four seats. In case you're thinking of buying one, since the prince seems to love to drive in any terrain possible. He's also got quite the collection of amphibious cars. The Prince used to be a big fan of the Python, but now he upgraded to the next best thing, the Panther. Though the Python can reach a record-setting speed on water about 60 miles per hour, it has an enormous 300-000 price tag. The newer Pythons are even faster, but they're also cheaper and expected to cost 135-000. See that's affordable. The Prince spent $800,000 in total on multiple Panthers to add to his collection to get a head start on the water vehicle trend before they officially hit the market for a more relaxed time on. The Sea Prince Pizza also owns a few luxurious super yachts. One of them is the 70 million Esmeralda, but his most expensive yacht that he bought in 2013 cost $180 million, and it has everything he could possibly need on water, including a gym designed by Usain Bolt, several pools, and a personal spa, and a helicopter landing pad. And of course, the prince also has his own private plane. He uses the Boeing 704-7400, which cost about $260 million. The Dubai Royal Air Wing has a fleet of them that can be used by members of the royal family. However, he also likes to fly first class on Emirates, which costs a minimum 600 per hour of flight time tickets across the globe can easily exceed $20,000. Each so there's one last question, how has the prince racked up such an impressive personal net worth? Does he really work for his money? Well of course there's Zabil Investments, the private investment company, helps keep personal money in the prince's pockets. And the, the Sea Prince Pizza also owns a few luxurious super yachts. One of them is the 70 million Esmeralda, but his most expensive yacht that he bought in 2013 cost $180 million and it has everything he could possibly need on water, including a gym designed by Usain Bolt several pools, and a personal spa, and a helicopter landing pad. And of course, the prince also has his own private plane. He uses the Boeing 704-7400, which cost about $260 million. The Dubai Royal Air Wing has a fleet of them that can be used by members of the royal family. However, he also likes to fly first class on Emirates, which costs a minimum 600 per hour of flight time tickets across the globe can easily exceed $20,000 each. So there's one last question. How has the prince racked up such an impressive personal net worth? Does he really work for his money? Well, of course, there's Zabil Investments. The private investment company helps keep personal money in the prince's pockets and the company has invested billions on buildings and construction projects. But obviously most of the prince's net worth is thanks to his connections as a member of the royal family. While most of Faz's hobbies are just for fun, he's incredibly talented and takes part in a lot of competitions. He's an award-winning horse rider, semi-professional skydiver, and an accomplished athlete. He's also a talented poet and photographer and is the founder of the Hamden International Photography award with so many incredible hobbies and millions to spend on them. 
He doesn't seem to spend much time in the office. But if you were a royal, wouldn't you do the same? Prince Wizard might spend a lot of his money on exotic animals and extravagant hobbies, but sometimes they make him money too. You know that almost 3 million camel, we mentioned it, won the prince $600,000 in a camel beauty contest. What now that's a prize pet? Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.